Do you believe you could pick your pronouns? Yes. Do you believe you could pick your adjectives? Yes. You can so, choose different ab adjectives. So to, I could be gain different I could be use. small, I could be strong, I could be rich, I could be smart just by my own imagination? It's a matter of social utility. Okay, so you, what do you think determines reality? You can empirically measure someone's chromosomes, but you can't empirically measure how much of a man or a woman someone is. So what makes something more manly versus more feminine? There's uh, no there's testosterone, estrogen, muscle mass, size, that's related to proclivity towards emotional distress. Well, change those. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are fairly good. Today, guys, we back again with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook, Rex Deluded, Gay Pro Trans Students. Okay, according to Charlie Cook, because of kicking us, let's check this video out. What is your opinion on trans, uh, the suicidality rates of trans youth? And what is your opinion on the, the drop that occurs in trans suicidality? when they're accepted by their families. Yeah, it goes up after about five or seven years. Um, look, trans people are, are suffering from a serious mental condition, gender dysphoria. That's not let, let, let them talk. What's, no. what's not true, the mental condition part? It's, it, is an, it is different, but it's not. What is gender dysphoria? It's, the, it is like, the, it's like the concern that you feel over the dysphoria, but it's like a body dysphoria related to the uh, disconnect you feel between uh, your mental state and how you feel about your body. Right, so it's a mental issue, right? Yes. Okay, so right, so people that are suffering from a from gender dysphoria have a mental condition and I hope they get help. Yeah, but this is, that's kind of like the same logic with uh, conversion therapy, right? Um, Which, well, what about it? Because you think there's something fundamentally wrong. Well, I do think there's something fundamentally wrong with a 14-year-old girl who thinks they're a, a boy, yes. That's okay. Why? Well, because their chromosomes aren't in alignment with the fantasy in their head. But why? Why is that a problem? Well, because your imagination doesn't determine your but, reality. But no, no, no. But how does wearing a dress instead of a suit to prom hurting anyone? Okay, that's a separate question. No, that's... That's what gender is, though. Oh, hold on a second. Wh which gender, question do you want me to? Gender, you just keep the mic there so we can. Gender talk. and sex are two different things. We we can wrong. Know, actually, actually, they're correlated. They're correlated, and there is the, there's okay. there is a it's bimodal. So, so let me ask you a question. No, 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 no. no. So can someone I, no, pick no, their I pronouns? I want you to answer my question. Well, which one? What? How does someone wearing a dress affect someone at prom? Can, if you let me finish, which one? I of can the four questions. All right. It's more helpful for you, isn't it, right, to think of gender and sex separately, socially. Like if you're just talking and you refer to sex as one thing and gender as another, it's more helpful because there's nothing, there's no connection between, no direct connection between address and chromosomes, right? So if you were to talk to someone with about gender, why is it hurt some, why is it bad to wear a dress when Mike, like, if I was to wear a dress to prom with okay. my boyfriend, then why would that be a bad thing? Got it. Okay. Because I have an, a Y chromosome. Okay. So why is it a bad thing? Okay, I'll go through the list. Well, number one, I don't think I should entertain something that is not true. Thank you. I think that's a bad precedent for all of humanity. And if you all of a sudden want to appropriate womanhood. But you can't. Womanhood, you can, well, let okay. me finish. Hold on. I'm sorry. You can't prove gender. You can't prove well, the so existence of gender. Let me just you talk can, about that. You can't prove the existence of let, sex. Let, let me say this. You can't empirically measure gender. You are using, <laughs> thank you. Uh, you're using a definition of gender and sex that is rather a new phenomenon. Gender and sex are directly related. So let me ask you a question. Do you believe you could pick your pronouns? Yes. Do you believe you could pick your adjectives? Yes. You can so, choose different ab adjectives. So to, I could be, gain different I could be small, I could be strong, I could be rich, I could be smart just by my own imagination? It's hmm. a matter of social utility. Okay, so you, what do you think determines reality? You can empirically measure someone's chromosomes, but you can't empirically measure how much of a man or a woman someone is. So what makes something more manly versus more feminine? There's uh, no there's testosterone, estrogen, muscle mass, size, that's related to proclivity towards emotional distress. But you can change those. But you can change those. I'm sorry? 
you, you can you, you can change you can change levels of testosterone and estrogen or androgen levels. Well, you, yeah, you could suppress artificially and put things in. You could also you could also remove critical body parts. There's a lot of things you could do that are not right. The student right there, he's a Indonesian guy. I love how Charlie handled it perfectly. Because you can change things does not mean it's right. Because you cut off your breasts does not mean it's right. Because you take in puberty blockers does not mean it's right. It's 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 funny how the students come come up to the mic and start talking about this sex and gender and feeling like he's wise or he, he's smart. He knows what he's talking about. Whereas he's, he's delusional. He's confused. Number one, he's just beating around the bush. He really does do not get this narrative of um, transgenderism. Everything. It feels like everyone can do whatever they want. So as a 14 years old um, gay who feel like she's a boy and go for a surgery to cut off her breast, does that make any sense? No. It makes no sense. Because a lot of them have turned out to regret these actions every single time. I keep on saying this. They turn out to regret these actions. I don't know where the students are coming out from because if they were to watch Charlie's video, they won't come out with these same questions over and over again. Because Charlie has been giving them the same, naturally the same answer. You, you have to stay with what you are born to be. If you are born a woman, stay as a woman. If you are born as a woman, stay as a man. It makes no sense for me when I see a mature man dressing as a woman and going to the female, female restroom. It makes absolutely no sense. It, these people are delusional. And if I'm, if I'm to be a dad today, I'll be scared of my children going to the restroom, a female restroom or a male restroom. Because if they're in public places, because if they have to go to one, I don't know who who is dressed as, who is identifying as a man or who is identifying as a woman, they can change their pronouns, but they cannot, they can't change their self. They can't change their chromosomes. Uh, I love Charlie's point of view. I love how Charlie handles the student. I love how Charlie puts him straight to the right path. If he chooses to accept or not, is his own decisions. But a lot of people who are teenagers who did some life or change decisions have tend to regret it. A lot of them who took the puberty blocker have tend to regret it. This is a political game. And I feel pity for the masses who accept this transgender and LGBTQ and keep on pushing that narrative. This is a political game to make people confused and keep on debating for unnecessary aspects like this. The transgender community, I feel like it's a, it's a, they're all political games to make people confused. You understand? So um, the, this pharmace pharmaceutical company that, that are making massive money from this, a lot of people who are investing into this LGBTQ narrative, they're making money inside. And as it lower masses who feel like they are right and uh, they can change their, their gender, they can change their body are the ones who are suffering because uh, their pain aside financially, also mentally like a lot of things that happen to, to them and these are political games and narratives that they are pushing for people to accept and more communities, more people are accepting it, the more their community will keep on growing, the LGBTQ com community will keep on growing and by growing gives those people the pharmaceutical company more money but people are not seeing it in that way so um charlie is pointing them to the right direction but as the student says that charlie is stupid so guys comment down below think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to us many as you can subscribe to our channel i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe i just want a bag like an old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku, bitch, in my bed I got scales all